Hello and welcome to your yoga practice for today. Uh, for today's practice, I thought I'd take it a slightly different direction. I'm calling this one uh, intuitive flow or freedom style yoga. The intent here is for me simply to follow my own intuition in terms of what it is that I need and try to provide that as an example for you as you endeavor to create your own style of practice. So the key here is to trust into what it is that your body is yearning for and what your body is needing and to act in response to that. We'll discuss that as we go through a little bit more, but otherwise get onto your mat and let's get started and have some fun. Enjoy your practice. All right, here we are, ready to practice. Here you are, ready to practice. So I would suggest uh, through this practice that um, if what I'm offering isn't going to work for you, well then do something that will work for you. So, so follow this idea of intuition as we go through our practice today. Let's just uh, begin with a nice big inhale. And a long exhale, close your eyes and settle in here. So you're simply allowing yourself to sink into the sensations of your body, the sensation of heaviness, of connectedness with the ground. Dissipating any kind of tension, dullness, stuckness, sensations that are not quite so welcome, let them dissipate. And usually following your breath, following particularly your exhale breath will help you to kind of calm down and center and ground yourself. And then from that quieter inner place, connecting with your intuition, with your inner feeling, what is it that you need from your practice today? What do you need? And feel, sense into that, and endeavor to move in a way that uh, serves, supports, and nourishes what it is that you need today. And as that begins to be felt and understood, we'll mark the start of our practice with a shared breath. Take a nice big inhale. And a long, sweet exhale. And welcome once again to your yoga practice. So lovely to have you here today. On your next inhale, Open your eyes, reach your arms up, stretch up, take a nice big stretch one way, stretch another way, whatever way feels good. And then we'll come forwards onto our hands and knees, or at least I will. <laughs> and as you come onto your hands and knees, maybe stretch one leg out, stretch the other leg out, twirl around a little bit, be a little bit intuitive. What is it that this whole body needs today? Oh yeah sensing into it and then uh, we'll wake up our hips next so root your hands down quite firmly the top of your right foot tugging forwards a bit then inhale your left knee out to the side left toes back towards your knee nice slowly bring your knee just about to the mat and then up and down we go with our breath so inhaling up exhaling down oh i feel that in my outer hip inhale up exhale down and one more time, inhale up and exhale, bring your knee onto the mat. Tug with the top of your left foot a little bit and left knee or right knee, I should say, inhale, right knee up, exhale, right knee just about to the mat. A couple more, inhale nice and wide and high, exhale down and again, inhale up and exhale, bring it down. Take your knees wider, slide back to child's pose keep your hands strongly forwards as you sink into your hip creases here trying to find a little bit of um, compression i guess in the hip sockets try bringing your chin more forwards and your chest more forwards, looking more forward so melting your heart down a nice 
deep stretch right at the start of the practice. So more chin on the mat than forehead on the mat. Squishing your beard if you have one. <laughs> nice. And then slowly from here, we'll come back up to our hands and knees <clears throat> and take a couple good old cat cow breaths. So as you inhale, we're trying to undulate the spine, tail lifts, belly drops, chest forwards, chin lifts, look forwards. And then all the movement originates from the base of the body in both directions. So tail tucks, little squeeze of the bum, belly draws in, chest draws in, chin tucks, and you press. Inhale, lengthening. So spinal segmentation, it might be called. Exhale, rounding from the tail. Feeling that wave of energy up and down your spine. One more time. Tail lifts, heart extends. And tail rounds in as you press. Nice. Come back to neutral. Tuck your toes at the back. Slide your bum all the way towards your heels. Reposition your hands, maybe a little wider. Fingers really bright. And then press with your hands and your big toes. Pop your knees up and back to downward dog. And I like to paddle my legs out, so I'm bending one knee, straightening the other leg, cracking my toes, twirling my ankles, just kind of waking up your legs, sensing into whatever's going on. My right hip a little bit more sensitive than my left today. And just noticing what's happening for you. Walk yourself up the mat and drape yourself over your upper thighs at the top of the mat with your knees nicely bent, your head completely relaxed. Give your head a nice shake, uh, your shoulders a shake, decompressing everything. And then as you inhale, come about halfway up, exhale, fold, nice bend in your knees. Do that again, inhale, lengthening, feel that slight straightening in the backs of your legs, exhale, fold. And then from here, with your knees bent, inhale, rise up as you slowly straighten your legs. Reach up, fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up. And exhale, just wash your hands down the front of your body. A couple breaths like that. So inhaling, inhaling, picking up all the weight of all the stuff that's not good in your life. And exhale, just sort of letting it fall to the ground and wash out to the sides. Again, inhale, pick up all that junk. And exhale, put it all down, off to the sides, leave it there. Let's pick up everything that's good and right that we need in our lives. Bring it down, all the way into our core. And again, filling ourselves up brightness, lightness, positivity, and exhale, bring it all down. And we'll bring your hands onto your low abdomen, overlapping, and just feeling and sensing all that goodness that we need in our lives. Soften into that. Soften. Beautiful. Now just release your hands down. We'll roll our neck, or I'll roll my neck. Like I said, I'm following my sort of intuitive needs here. My neck was certainly cranky the last several days. I don't know what the heck I did. Go the other way. Oh, these movements of your joints, these, this warms up the synovial fluid in your joints. So it's rather sticky when you don't move very much. So these kind of movements help to sort of juice up the joints. Let's do the same with your shoulders, roll your shoulders back. So getting the synovial fluid warm makes it more, more viscous. Roll the shoulders forwards. Ah, yeah, good. Bring your arms up, cactus arms. Inhale, hips forwards, look up. And then exhale, elbows together, chin tucks, elbows towards your core, just rounding your upper back. So opening the upper back now. Inhale, opening the heart here. Exhale, rounding in, elbows in. And again, inhale, opening. And exhale, rounding in.
Beautiful. Inhale, open. And exhale, interlace your fingers behind your head, elbows a little bit forwards. Let's move into the sides of your spine. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, side bend over towards the right. Notice your hips sliding to the left. And try not to collapse too much in that right side of the body here. Inhale, come up. Exhale, reach up and over the left hip. Again, inhale up. Elbows a little bit more forwards. Exhale over to the right. Try not to fall down. Inhale up. Exhale over. Shoulders roughly square with the front of your room. Inhale up. Exhale over. And again, inhale up. And exhale over. Nice. Inhale, come back up. Arms nice and wide. Thumbs pointing up to the ceiling. Take a big inhale. Exhale, turn to the right. Still thumbs up. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn to the left as far as you can go. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn to the right. Pause. And then we'll let your left hand come up, right hand drop down. Come back to the twist. And then as you exhale, twist in a little bit further. Beautiful. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Pause. Inhale, right hand up, left hand down. Bit of a side bend in the twist. Come back to the twist. And exhale, further into the twist we go. Beautiful. Inhale, hands up overhead. And exhale, fold all the way forwards. Inhale to lengthen, a half lift. Bring your hands to your hips. Exhale, rise up. This is a half sun salute. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, wash down the front of your body nice and slowly. We're going to do two more of those. Nice big inhale. A long, delicious dive. Nice bend in your knees. Inhale, lengthen hands to hips. Exhale to stand up. Inhale to fill up. And exhale to center. So that exhale to stand up creates inter-abdominal pressure to, to make sure you don't pass out. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, fold forwards. And here it is. Inhale, lengthen, hands to hips. And as you exhale, you stand up, you feel your core is pulling in so your blood doesn't rush from your head. <laughs> and inhale, fill up. And exhale, wash your hands back down. Step your feet slightly apart. Still toes directly forwards. Inhale, sit into the chair. Palms face the floor. Exhaling, sitting in a little further. Hold on to your forearms and pull your forearms apart. So feel that activation, upper chest, upper back. Looks something like this. Now, I'm an old age pensioner. <laughs> And apparently one of the best things you can do as you age is to maintain your muscle mass. And the way you maintain muscle mass is through resistance training. That's not necessarily weightlifting, but through things like this, this isometric exercises will help you to sustain that muscle mass. So important. Inhale, stand up. And exhale, fold all the way forwards. Inhale to lengthen. And then exhale, bend your knees. Plant your hands, step one leg back, the other leg back. Here we are, more resistance training <laughs> in plank pose. I like to bring my feet right together, inner thighs touching, and notice your bum is lifted, so we're not sinking down with the bum. Bum's nicely lifted, core's engaged, a little tuck of the tailbone, pushing away from the ground, breathing nice and calm. It's challenging, yeah. <laughs> Knees down, feet flat, lie down, but don't move your hands. Just keep them where they are. Inhale to Cobra. Exhale to stay there. Inhale to lift your hands off the mat. Exhale to stay there. One more big inhale. And then exhale, down we go, hands back in. Inhale to your hands and knees. Step your hands back a little bit, tuck your toes. Downward dog. 
paddle those legs out. Now this next sequence of movements, I'll be doing it from downward dog, but it's possible to do it from your hands and knees as well. So again, what is it you need? Do what you need here. As you inhale, send your right leg nice and high. And as you exhale, try to bring your right knee to your upper right arm somewhere. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, round your spine. Inhale all the way up. And exhale your knee to your left arm across the body, keeping your right foot nice and high. Inhale all the way up. And here, this is a little bit fun. I come up on my fingertips, try to step your foot as far forwards as you can. Now, if your foot doesn't quite get there, drop your back knee down and put your foot between your hands. We will drop our back knee down, everybody. And then inhale, hands up. Exhale to stabilize. Did you get warm there? <laughs> Hold on to your left wrist. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, side bend to the right, feeling this nice extension through the outer right hip, outer right rib cage. Find a nice, easy breathing. Opening up that hip. That's what guy needs. Inhale, come back to square. And as you exhale, turn to your right, palms face up. A twisting, kneeling lunge. Find that spaciousness through the upper chest. Thumbs rolling open will help to get those shoulders nice and open. Inhale, hands up overhead. And exhale, hands down. Step forwards to both feet, half lift. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, wash it down. Let's do that again on the other side. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, dive all the way forwards. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, one leg. Other leg back to plank pose, top of the old push-up. Bum light slightly lifted. I'm resisting the ground, so resistance training here. And then knees down, feet flat. Lie down. Hands stay where they are. Inhale to cobra. And this time, exhale, look over your right shoulder. Left shoulder drops, little twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center. Exhale, down you go. Inhale to your hands and knees. Maybe walk your hands back a little bit and either stay there or downward dog. And again, move those legs a little bit. Wake things up. And now stay balanced on your right foot. Inhale your left leg up way high. Exhale, left knee to your upper left arm. Left foot nice and high. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, knee to right arm across the body. This is kind of challenging, this little move. Inhale all the way up. And then exhale. See, I'm up on my fingers here. Step your foot through. Drop your back knee down. Foot didn't get there. Get the foot there. <laughs> nice. And then inhale. Up we come to a kneeling lunge. Hips roughly square. So left hip back, right hip forwards. Hold on to your right wrist this time. Reach up. Side bend over to the left. Find that extension through the outer right hip. Yeah, guy needs this one, I'll tell you. Oh yeah. Not sure what's going on in that hip. Fire up the muscles where you feel the stretch as well. Oh yeah. And then inhale. Back up, hands separate. Exhale, twist to the left. Opening. Your thumbs up, opening that across the head of your shoulder here. Nice. Inhale, hands overhead. Exhale, hands down. Step your back foot forwards, half lift, and fold in. Knees a little bit bent. Inhale to that half lift again. And exhale, stand up. And then inhale to fill up and 
Wash your hands down. It should be nice and warm by now. Let's take another cleansing breath. Big inhale. There's no rush. Exhale down. And as I said, I'm doing what it is that this body, mind, and heart needs today. So doing what you need. One more breath. Inhale, hands up. And exhale. Hands can come down onto your hips. Uh, from this place, let's go to the back of your mat. I'll start from over here. With your heels touching and toes touching. And then we'll pivot on your uh, right heel to point your right toes out just a little bit. So uh, the toes pointing more or less at about 1.30 on the analog clock. A little bend in your knees. And then take as big a step as you can with your left foot. Boom. So that both feet are still flat. So right foot's flat, left foot flat. Really press that left foot down and start to rotate your shoulders more square. You'll notice that right leg gets, has to get nice and strong as you rotate your shoulders more forwards. Beautiful. From here, that's inhale. Hands come forwards. Actually, no. Let's go here. Lean forwards a bit. Inhaling here. Press into the back foot, left hip back. Take a big inhale, and as you exhale, swoop your hands forward, straighten your front leg. Good. Inhale, bend your front leg, heart slightly forwards. Exhale like you're swooshing a wave of water. Whoosh forward. Front leg straight. Again, inhale, heart forwards. Exhale, swoosh. Good stuff. Inhale, and now here from this position, pivot your back heel forwards, walk forwards a little bit, lift your back leg, and onto a bent left leg. Try to bend and straighten your leg a few times. This is called toppling tree, or sometimes warrior three if your hands are forward. So we're testing the strength of your hip, your knee, your ankle, your toes. And then inhale, feet together, arms up. Exhale, hands down to your hips, and step back again to the back of your mat. That's challenging for the hips. So, but again, building strength and structure, certainly needed. Heels together, toes touch, left toes turn out a little bit. Right foot steps forwards, big step. Both feet are flat. Hands come up, and we rotate your shoulders so they're square with the front of your mat, if you're on a mat, or square with your television screen, your computer, whatever you're looking at right now. Lean forwards. More pressure in your left foot here. Left leg nicely engaged. Inhale, and then exhale. Leg straightens, hands forwards. Inhale, heart forwards. Exhale, whoosh. Again, inhale, and exhale. <sighs> Throwing away all that bad energy. And inhale, back we come. Pivot your back heel, lean forwards, lift your back foot, and then bend and straighten your right leg a few times, testing your ankle, your knee, your hip, finding a sense of mobility, support there. Strengthen those glutes. <laughs> and then inhale, feet together, hands up. And exhale, wash your hands back down. All right, let's move into a little bit of balance and then cool down and integrate all the effects of our practice. <clears throat> so eh, I, I kind of like the, the qigong here. So bend your knees from the middle of your mat. Step your feet apart or jump your feet apart. Turn your heels in, your toes out. Bend your knees, sink down. So it's not quite a balance yet. <laughs> As I said, I'm following my intuition here. <laughs> What's it I need? I need to work on my hips. I need to find that mm, bit of energy today. Bring your hands forwards, hands touch in front of you, arms nice and straight. Take a big inhale. 
And then as you exhale, we're drawing your left fingertips along the inner right arm, and the right arm is turning out to the side, archer pose. Inhale, swoop your hands forwards, and now we'll straighten your legs. And as you exhale, right fingertips draw along the inner left arm to your heart, archer. A couple times like that. Inhale, hands forwards, legs straight. Exhale, gently drawing the bow, gazing over the right thumb. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And last one, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands to your hips, square your toes, bend your knees, jump onto the mat, go side to side a couple times. So, interestingly, when I started the practice, not 100% clear what it was that would happen or what it was that I even needed. So, I've just been following my intuition and it seems like today I needed a little bit of an oomph, a little bit of a kickstart. So always trusting into what it is the body seems to be wanting next. Balance is next for this old guy. <laughs> Turn your right foot out a little bit and then place your foot somewhere on your inner left leg. It could be down to the ground or up nice and high, whatever you like. If you've practiced with me, you know I love tree pose. So tree pose it is. Root into the ground and then connecting from the earth to your heart and the heart to the heavens. A little bit of wobble is okay. It's sort of like, you know, uh, like a compass, a magnetic compass. Your head is pointing way up to the heavens and your foot is pointing to the middle of the earth. You're connecting from the center of the earth to the center of the heavens, as it were. A nice magnetized column of energy here. Nice and relaxed through your face. Nice big inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale your knee forwards. And exhale, just let it all go. Other side, a slight external rotation of your left hip. Place your foot wherever works best for you. Foot to leg, leg to foot, hip nicely in place, belly drawn in, tail tucked. There's all these little bits and pieces we can fuss with, but ultimately, be in the pose, hands to your heart. Hands up, shoulders integrate. So uh, I think a few classes ago I was musing on Guy's approach to yoga, which is form, function, feeling, and fusion. And this is like the fourth stage of, of my style of practice, fusion. So form is about the, the structures. Uh, function is how we use our muscles. Feeling is how we use our breath. And fusion is we forget all that stuff and just do yoga. <laughs> so trusting that your body knows everything and not getting so fussed with technique. Nice big inhale. Enough yakking. <laughs> exhale, and start. Inhale your knee forwards and exhale foot down. There's so much I want to say sometimes. I just like, pff, what am I supposed to do? Just got to say it. Uh, from the back of your mat, take a big inhale. And an exhale fold. Walk yourself up the mat to plank. Come down onto your elbows. Interlace your fingers. Squeeze your legs into one another. Press your forearms into the mat. Press your big toes into the mat. Squeeze your heels in. Sustain this for five, four, three, two, and on one. Drop your knees down, feet flat. We'll lie down. We'll overlap your hands and take your elbows nice and wide. Just place your forehead somewhere on your hands. Taking a few comfortable breaths here. Nice. And then we'll place your chin on the mat. Bend your arms 90 degrees so cactus arms or stick them up arms. Squeeze your legs together and then inhale. Come off the ground. 
Beautiful. Take a big inhale, and as you exhale, bring your elbows to the sides of your body. And then inhale, send your hands strongly forwards. Exhale, elbows in. Inhale, hands forwards. Again, two more times. Exhale, squeeze your elbows in, lift up a bit higher. Send your hands forwards. And again, squeeze those elbows in. Oh yeah. And then slowly come down. Overlap your hands. Feet flat, forehead on your hands. Couple breaths there. And now let's give your neck a little bit of a break. Again, cactus arms. But we'll put your left cheek on the mat. Look to the right. You may not be able to hear me as well here. So as you're gazing to the right, you could press your head into the ground a little bit more, helping to build a bit more strength in the neck and its end range of motion, which I believe, C2, this would be useful for you to build some neck strength. And then slowly go the other way. So put your right cheek on the mat, look left. And maybe even sort of pressing your head into the mat as you try to rotate is sort of a, it is a bit of an isometric uh, contraction or movement. Again, building strength in the twist of your spine, your cervical spine. Nice. Chin on the mat, hands by your shoulders, up to your hands and knees, knees wide, child's pose. This time bring your forehead down, walk your hands together into prayer, and then pivot at your elbows, bring your palms behind your head or maybe to your neck even, and walk your elbows and your forehead a little bit more forwards. Sink your heart down, feel that in the mid-back. Nice. Bring your hands forwards, and then walk your hands back to a bit of a seat. And as you come to your seat, right away, swing your legs out front. Give your legs a little bit of a shake. A shiggle, a shake. <laughs> How's it going? Are you staying true to your practice for what it was that you needed? Try to, try to stay true. Feet together, knees wide. I like to keep my feet fairly far away from me. Hold on to your shins, lift your heart, pull forwards, pull forwards, keep the spine nice and long. And then maybe towards the end, then round your chin in. Relax your face, relax your shoulders. Relax your forehead, your ears. And you may, after a few more seconds, decide to Fold in a bit more as your body opens and receives the pose. And listen to your heart, your intuition more so than your brain here. <clears throat> what is it that you need? Do that thing. Not what is it that you think you need, but what is it that you need? period. And then slowly, slowly, come on up. Hold your outer knees, squeeze them in, <coughs> send them nice and long. And then with your knees bent, feet slightly separated, we'll lie down on our backs. There we go. Oh, that's comfy. <laughs> and as you come on your back, draw your knees into your chest. Give them a good squeeze. Squeeze your knees in towards you. Keep your chin a little bit tucked. Try to get your tailbone down as well. And then keeping the low back nice and flat on the mat, lift your head, forehead towards your knees, knees towards forehead. Squeeze everything in nice and firm. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. 
and then slowly, slowly release your feet, release your hands, and let's just flip-flop those knees a couple times side to side. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And working into our hips, or at least my hips a little bit more, we'll take your right ankle on top of your left knee, right toes flex back towards you. Without using your hands, lift your left foot from the ground and drive your left knee towards you, right knee away from you. A little bit of activation in both feet, chin a little bit tucked, using muscular effort here. Again, why am I doing that? Well, I'm trying to maintain my muscle mass as I age. That's it, and then slowly both feet come down, a little bit of a release, flipping, flopping, and do the same thing on the other side. Left ankle on top of right knee, right foot lifts, trying to press my right knee towards me, left knee away from me, both feet active. Oh yeah, little tuck of your chin. Feel all those muscles working. That's it. And then drop both feet down again to the mat. Walk your feet in a little bit closer and then press with your feet, lift your bum off the mat. Take your arms way up overhead so the backs of your hands are on the ground overhead. And just push with your feet. It feels like you're trying to spread your upper back on the mat. Push your hips up, push with your feet. Good sense of extension of the spinal column. And then keep your arms overhead as you slowly lay down, very slowly lay down the upper part of your spine, the mid part of your spine, tail's a little tucked, the lumbar spine, and finally your tailbone rests down. Let's do that again slowly. Arms are still overhead. Tuck your tailbone. Slowly peeling your lumbar spine up, your bum up, peel the mid spine up, peel the upper back up, press with your feet nice and full, hips up, and then again slowly unwind your spine all the way back down. Nice. Bring your hands back in and Step your feet together, shift your hips a little bit to the left, drop your knees to the right, and extend your left hand, final spinal twist. And I'm using my right hand to hold my knees down. You could be hooking your legs together or any, any variation. You could be wedging something between your knees. Just letting yourself yield into the twist here at the end of the practice, feeling your breath rising and falling. Yeah, I needed that. And then let's take it over to the other side. So first come to neutral and just let everything settle. You'll notice it's like, ah, it feels nice to settle in the neutral position. And then a little shift of your hips to the right, knees go left, right arm extends, gaze goes right. Unlocking that spine through the twist. Try to get both shoulders on the ground. If your shoulders don't quite get down, decrease the angle of your hips to get your shoulders down. We want you to relax. Relax your face, your forehead. Your shoulders can relax. Every exhale, dissipating tension. Yum. And then again, come back through the center. Pause, feel, sense into the sensations of the body, your body, and then 
Again, let's just reset the nervous system. Arms up, legs up. Slow, purposeful, full circles of your wrists and your ankles. One way. The other way. Squeezing your toes and your fingers in, spreading your toes and fingers back and forth a few times, squeezing, spreading. And then a good shake, shake your wrists, shake your ankles, uh, shake it off, uh, 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 uh. shake it off, and then lie down, take a big inhale, a long exhale. And as you settle in here, inquire in again, is there anything else that this body, mind, and heart of yours needs right now before Savasana? If so, do that thing. Otherwise, simply rest here and receive the effects of your practice. Follow the rise and the fall of your breath. Dissipate any kind of tension or stuckness, dullness as you exhale. And bring your awareness towards the center of your chest, your heart. the center of your intuition. And the gentlest of smiles towards the heart, thanking yourself for showing up, for trusting yourself, for moving in a way that's nourishing and supportive. Well done, well done, well done. Let's mark the end of our practice together with a shared breath, a nice big inhale. And a long sigh. And thank you so much, everyone, for sharing this practice today, for sharing your space, your time with me and everyone else. So good to have you here. Namaste. So I'll just, uh, thank you, C2. I'll just reiterate that, <coughs> that uh, the practice was um, really following our intu intuition, intuitive flow, sometimes called um, freedom style yoga. This was inspired in me by uh, a guy called Eric Schiffman. Thank you, Barbara. Very kind. Um, so Eric Schiffman, I practiced with back, I don't know, probably 15 years ago, something like that. Um, wonderful. And uh, yeah, he was very much a proponent of over, over time as you develop your practice to trust more and more um, that you, your body, your mind, your heart know what needs to happen and just, just let that flow. Thank you, Patricia. And thank you, Isabel. Lovely to see you. Thank you, Natalie, so much. So good to see all of these familiar names. Thank you, Lisa. Um, I did. I did record this one, so you'll find this on other channels probably later today. I'm getting better at getting them out there. Uh, so if you enjoyed this, you can do it again sometime. Thank you, Jess. <laughs> Your intuition called for a little less oomph. Hopefully, Natalie, you did. You you probably didn't apply so much oomph. That's okay. Um, thank you, Patricia. Yeah, sometimes, you know, sometimes we need to just relax. Other times we need to build a bit of fire. Um, my energy has been, was way off for the last couple of days. I'm not sure what it was. So I woke up this morning feeling a bit better and I think needing to, to build that fire again. Spring fever, is that what it is? <laughs> Do I still get that with a gray beard? <laughs> Yep, <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> New moons equals low energy. Is that what it is? Is it the moon, moon phase? I know, I, um, yeah, there's certain, 
styles of yoga where um, uh, they're very much concerned with the phase of the moon and that on the new moon or the full moon, you're not supposed to practice at all. Um, just do something quiet. But I'm not that intuitive. <laughs> Heck, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> uh, all right, so good to have you all here. Um, me neither, <laughs> it's today. There you go. Now that's spoken like a true philosopher. <laughs> when is it? It's now. <laughs> Barometric pressure, oh yeah. When I, I used to live on the, on the prairies uh, in Saskatchewan, and when the weather would change, boom, I would get these sinus headaches. I, I knew when the weather was gonna change based on what was going on in my sinuses, it was crazy. All right, I hope you guys have a beautiful day today, and I look forward to seeing you again soon, uh, next week, or maybe seeing you online. Thank you so much, Barbara, many blessings to you. Take good care, everyone.